here's a project that was made in Lockdown 1.4, and now I'm opening it with Lockdown 1.5. And you'll notice that everything still works. However, if you go to further adjust this project using the unlockdown button, strange things are going to happen. In order to make this work properly, you need lockdown to be on your footage layer, not on your graphics layer. So in lockdown 1.4, if we take a look here, this is the graphics being rendered. And that's inside of the layer that lockdown is on here. Uh, here are the graphics. And this, this whole structure has had to change for lockdown 1.5. And then you look down here, we have our background layer. That's just sitting underneath. So go to the first frame. If you press U on the layer that has lockdown with it, you're going to notice this internal keyframe time reference. This is the frame you want to be on when you go to copy and paste. So actually take lockdown, cut it, and then paste it to your background. So then when you play through, everything is going to look crazy and wrong. For this to work with lockdown 1.5, take the lockdown graphics comp and choose that stabilized layer that has your graphics. And now this is rendering the graphics in place of your background layer. And you want this stabilized layer to be off. So then you can duplicate your background layer. I'll move this down below and I'll just remove lockdown. And this is just going to work as your background. So we'll solo that. And then in this next one, this is lockdown. You could possibly rename that. And then you have your graphics comp where you can move in here and you can make edits. So at this point, with lockdown selected, you should be able to use it with the 1.5 workflow, pressing unlock down to see all of your points, and pressing lockdown to take your lockdown graphics comp and render it over the top of the layer.